Do you look for good press? Chapter 24 in Stephen Schusler's book is a jungle in there. It's titled Create Positive Press. Now, there's not a quote for this one, but the self-examining question is, do you make a concerted effort to establish good media contacts and use them to generate positive publicity for the work that you do? Now, depending on the role that your business is in, maybe your business has made, uh, you know, waves, and you have people, you know, in the media, whether it's the new local newspaper, maybe a penny saver, maybe it's the actual news or the radio, contacting you for further information. Now, do you get right back to them, or do you just kind of like put on hold, and, you know, a couple days later do you get back to them? Or, you know, do you set limits and say, okay, I'm going to make sure that I do this within such, you know, such an amount of time. And in the chapter, he talks about a two-hour limit or two-hour rule. I forget what it was said specifically. Um, but again, just that idea that within two hours, he's going to go and give them as much as he can and even more because sometimes one question will lead to another if he gives a little bit more information, which then maybe leads to a longer interview. Now, once you get that interview, you're basically talking about free press. He's going to make it in the newspaper, he's going to make it on the radio, he's going to make it on the TV, maybe he's going to wait, make it on the internet. And the more places you can find yourself uh, being found, the, the better off you're going to be because people are going to continue to point to you. And if it's on a website, maybe the more websites, more, more uh, traffic you're going to generate, that's going to go back to your website. So again, the more press you can get in, the better off you're going to be. Okay, Good press, bad press, whatever it is, it's going to be information. A lot of times you find people that are you know, looking for the negative and they'll seek, uh, seek out other things that have been found, you know, uh, you know, maybe complaints about the company, maybe they just want to do research to see if there has been complaints about the company. So even if you have it, maybe there's a complaint that you fixed and later on, you know, you correct it and made better because, you know, maybe the person was a little bit, you know, angry about some other issue that was totally irrelevant to the actual business. But when that one error in the business happened, they kind of blew up. But then it showed how you corrected it in the same point because if you've been able to uh, respond to that issue if it was on the internet or in a newspaper, maybe you could find other related articles, then that kind of clears everything over. But the idea is when you can get press, you take it. Okay, If people are going to come around and do it, do it. I, for example, uh, when I went to Kenya in the summer of July, or excuse me, in the summer or July of 2012, I actually won the trip with Russell Brunson and his dot com secrets X course. And I was more than willing to talk to the people in one of our local newspapers about the fundraising I was doing. I was trying to raise uh, you know, money and fees to send and bring stuff over, but also doing a collection. And I raised and, and brought over 300, or excuse me, uh, over 30 lacrosse sticks and, you know, helped get some funding to, to help to ship it over in the, you know, when I actually brought it over in the plane for the shipping fees, now that the plane uh, and air, airline systems have changed with the extra baggage. So I was willing to spend, you know, half an hour talking with her on the phone and my name got in the paper and there was, you know, basically a full page spread in uh, the local penny saver article so you know it wasn't a huge article it wasn't like a full page newspaper it was more like a, a half page newspaper the smaller newsprint one uh, articles but again the idea that I took up almost a whole page in that was going to help me out you know I got to throw my, the name of my business in there and talk about the idea that I did marketing you know I was a teacher you know doing different things on the side so again it's all about press you know how can you get your name out there and then other people are going to start to recognize you and see that you're you know a person that's willing to give back and to help out which again ties into some of the other chapters we've talking about okay it wasn't always what's in it for me even though I benefited immensely from that case okay I'm gonna get press from it it's all gonna work out in the end again people might contact me even now to this day because you know the online version of that has been saved forever so you never know what's gonna happen you know try to get some good press okay create positive press and this has been Dave Gardner